Sorry for the congregation. your neighbor in the name of Jesus. Neighbor, I welcome you in the name of Jesus. You are the same yesterday, today, forever. Nobody is like you. Uh. You never change. Yesterday, today, forever Nobody looks there like you Say you are the same You are the same Yesterday, today, forever Nobody is like you Lord, you never change Spirit of God, Father, we welcome you in our hearts. Father, we welcome you in our spirit. Our life in Christ. In Jesus' name. You may sit down. Life in Christ. Uh, life. In Christ. Ask your neighbor, do you have life in Jesus? Or life in life? <laughs> you know, we have life in life. And the life in Jesus. I don't know whether you have life in life. It's possible that you have life in life. But I'm talking about life in Christ Jesus. Are you with Jesus? Huh? Huh? That's your neighbor. Are you with Jesus? Do you know him? Do you believe in him? Do you worship him with him? Or you worship him alone? You know, you can worship God your own way. You can worship God, your family pattern, the way your family worship God. And there is another way you can worship God, worshiping God with God. That is life in Christ. That is what, what is scarce in the world. You cannot see it. God cannot reveal himself to stubborn people who will never believe him, who cannot believe him. 
who don't trust him, who will never trust him, who don't want to trust him, no matter how you fast or pray, he cannot reveal himself to you. Mm. Because you will destroy his name and make his name useless before your people. That is why it is difficult for a just man to discover God. Uh, it is very, very difficult for you, everybody, to discover God. That is why God will choose the people, his people. Who can keep what they know about him um, and ready to die in truth? Because if you have life in life, you don't have life. If you have life in Christ, you have life. The life I'm talking about is not you being healthy. Um, you have good health. No. You may be sick and still have life in Christ. Very, very sick. Mm, sick to the extent that you cannot be able to talk, you cannot be able to walk or communicate with anybody, but you still have life in Christ. When someone can be very healthy, moving everywhere, going everywhere, eating very, very well, good health, without life, in Christ. That is the difference between God's word and man's word. God's word is a spirit. He lives in us when we open the door. Mm, God's word is a spirit. God does not choose us because we have good health. Mm -mm. Or we know how to speak English, no. Or we educated, no. He chose his, his people when he look at your heart. What can your heart do for him? If your heart is for your family, God will have no business with you. If your heart is for your wife and children, God will have no business with you. Is the one that give you the children, give you the, the, the wife. If your heart is for yourself, he will have nothing to do with you. But if your heart is for him, he will say, come, you are my son. You are my daughter. You are qualified to see me, to hear from me, to know this secret about me. Mm. Before you become a child of God, you must have a covenant with him that you can't just say to people. Oh. You have covenant with God. That's your neighbor. Do you have Jesus? He will say yes. Do you have any covenant? I will say, what is the covenant? <laughs> Tell me the covenant so that I can keep it. <laughs> Love for Jesus. <laughs> say, our covenant. The blood of Jesus Christ is our covenant, right or wrong? Eh? But there is something you need to keep for God that will help the blood work for you if you are truly a child of God. Mm. You must be strong in the Lord, very, very strong. Not like you. <laughs> So let's go to Bible. Let's go to Bible. Philippians. <laughs> Philippians.
Philippians 3. Before we read this Philippians, God loves you so much that he wants to talk to you, but you are not available. Do you know? Huh? You are not available. It's knocking on your door. You are not available. Mm. You are not available. It's calling you, calling you. Not, uh, you are not answering him. You refuse to answer. I reach verse 9, 10, and 12. And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is true faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. You see it. The righteousness of God is not by law. Mm. That means Jesus must tell you what you keep for him. Those law you keep is good, but it will profit you nothing if you are not connected to Jesus' law. Because when you obey Jesus, the righteousness of God will come on you. Mm. He's talking about Jesus. We are talking about Jesus. It's more than law. I don't know whether you understand me. Huh? Do you understand me? Jesus is more than law. The law you keep is good to keep the law of God. Keep all of them, the Ten Commandments. Mm. But Jesus is more than the law. You must obey his law, his own law. He must tell you, keep this thing for me. Do this for me. It's more than those law you keep. Because he's the one ruling in heaven, on earth, and everywhere. Am I right? Huh? Uh. But you are not talking about Jesus. You are talking about the law. And when you start prayer, you mention Jesus. You end prayer, you mention Jesus. You want God to deliver you, you mention Jesus. Well, you did not keep Jesus' law. You love God, but you hate Jesus. I don't know whether you understand me. You love God, <laughs> and you hate Jesus. That is why Jesus said, believe in God, and also believe in me. If you believe only in God, and you don't believe in Jesus, you do not believe. Because you cannot believe in the Father, you will not believe the Son. Am I right? Huh? Somebody now loves you so much and hates your son so much. Will you give that person anything? Huh? Uh-huh. Ten. Uh-huh. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death. I may know him. The power of resurrection. That is the power that he lost today. Deliver us today. Free us today. Set us free. Without that power, God has given him the power. The power of resurrection to deliver us to heal us, to bless us. Without that power, nothing will happen. And you must suffer like him. He must show you what you must suffer for him. You can't just have the power of resurrection without suffering for Jesus. 
He must show you what you will pass through. People say that Jesus said it is finished. Yes, it's true. But you must pass through something that will finish it. You can't just say it is finished. Uh, you must suffer for him. That is Jesus' law. This is what you are going to pass through for me. So that the power of resolution will come upon you. Uh -huh. Repeat that ten. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his fellowship death. of his word suffering is it not say fellowship of his uh, 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 blessing or oh, good health or oh, or oh, oh, big or oh, those beautiful things you you like fellowship of his suffering that is Jesus law That is where you see that covenant. Uh, if you finish with that suffer, that is the covenant you have with God. You have finished the race. So he must answer you whenever you call him. You now have covenant with God. Without that suffering, that covenant will not come. What you must keep will not come. Because he will tell you, oh, don't fail me. Continue. And it's not what you'll be passing through. You'll be telling people, help me. Look at what I'm seeing. Look at what I'm fighting for. If we don't tell people, um, we bear it ourselves. Um, through that, you, you will become his. Uh -huh, let's go to 12. Not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of. You me. see it. You will press on. That thing Jesus lay, you also lay. That he suffer, he passed through, you also suffer like him. You press on. Uh, the more they suffer, the more you continue. That thing he passed through, you too will pass it through. But you never want to suffer at all. Am I right? Eh? If suffer come, you begin to confess different things. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, he begin to tell them how <laughs> hey, Jesus is fake you. How can he be suffering me like this? I believe it's not God. God always do good. And not allow me to suffer like <laughs> You lay your life the same way he lay his life, the same way you too, you join him in the suffer, in the race. And you will not confess negative. Uh, I was asking God about somebody, why are you, why are you suffering? Why are you making this person this way? He said, I don't want to make it easy. For him. If I make it easy for him, he will not know the value. God allow us to suffer so that he will know the value. I don't know what I understand me. I said, why are you suffering him? He's, he's, why can't you make it? Just give it. He said, no. If I make it easy for him, he will not know the value. He will not know the value. Oh. Right, let's go. Let's go to 
14. Uh -huh. I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. 15. Therefore, let us, as many as are mature, have this mind. And if in anything you think otherwise, God will reveal even this to you. Oh, do you understand it? Repeat it again. Therefore, let us, as many as are mature, have this in mind. Ask your neighbor, are you mature in heart? You know, if you are not mature, you will behave like children when the time comes. Huh? You begin to confess different things. You begin to talk through, but it's not true. Huh? You begin to say the truth, but the thing is, you are saying it's not the truth. You need to confess. Hmm. You begin to confess the truth. Your heart is not yet mature to know that what you need from God is life of Christ, not life in life. Mm. If you have God's life, you are living already. Even if you die, you continue living. But if you don't have God's life in you, you are useless. Even if you live like 120, 200 years, you are useless. Because you die, you cannot live again. There is no way you can live again. Mm. The reason why God, Jesus came is to give you life for you to live for him, not for yourself. Mm. But you prefer living for yourself than him. Am I right? You want to live for yourself? Huh? 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 You want to live, now you want to have a very good health. You want to be rich. Mm -hmm. You want to give birth to 30 children. Mm -hmm. You want to be okay. Uh, you don't want this Jesus life. But you want Jesus' blessing. And two, you want heaven. Huh? Huh? You want heaven, Abby? Uh-huh. 18. For many work of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ. Uh-huh. 19 and 20. Whose end is destruction? Whose God is their belly, uh -huh. and whose glory is in their shame? Uh -huh. Who set their mind on earthly things? Uh -huh. For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, are you a citizen of where? Huh? Shout hallelujah if you are a citizen of heaven. Mount. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, going to heaven you will start from here not when you die but you believe that when you die you will not go to heaven mm -mm. you will go to heaven from here your heaven starts here if you are citizen of heaven you will know. If you are a citizen of this world, you will know. Don't deceive yourself. Because the Spirit of God will come and rest in your heart if you belong to heaven. The relationship will be there. He will be talking to you. You will be talking to him. Two of you will become one. You don't need to ask yourself whether you will go to heaven or not. Uh, you don't need anybody to tell you whether you will go to heaven or not. Mm. That heart that judge you will never be there again. Nothing judge you. Because the, 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 the creator of heaven and earth is in you. That is why Jesus said, I am in you. You are in me. But you want to die first. You will not tell them to show you the way to heaven. Oh, yeah. huh? 
Huh? When you die, they now bury you. They now begin to pray for you to go to heaven. No. You must be a citizen of heaven from this earth. Mm. Mm. A citizen of heaven. If you belong to God, he's here. The thing will start from. I don't need to ask myself whether I will go to heaven. Uh, I don't think about heaven again because I'm already in heaven. Oh. I'm already in heaven. I don't think of heaven. But you, if anything happen now, hey! Or one achi maybe. Am I right? <laughs> because you don't know where you are going. Eh? If that rain now, big rain now come, thunder, bah, bah, in the night, everywhere that is, go go one achi maybe. She ne gave you go one bro be. Then I say, say you are as prayer. You begin to say you are as prayer. God, please. Johnny in them men. We go ball. Am I right? Because you believe that when you die, you will start going to heaven. Is it not what you believe? Huh? You know, because Johnny in them men. No, don't leave you. We go ball. For you to go to heaven, you will start from here. Oh. You must be a friend of God in this world. If you are for God, you will know. If you are for Satan, you will know. If you are still pursuing heaven, you will know. Where do you fall? Are you for God? You know. Are you still running to enter heaven? You will know. Are you running to enter hell? You will know. Mm. God's way is a spirit. Mm. Some people, they continue fighting without the genuineness of Christ. They are not genuine. So you can't succeed. If you are not genuine, no matter how you fight to join Jesus, you can never succeed. You can never succeed. Mm. Because genuineness in you will give you a right decision. That no one can change. People have tried to change me. My family have tried to change me. Nobody can change my decision. Because I'm genuine. Looking for him. So you can't change me. Mm. He said, I will change you. But if you are not genuine. They will change you. Am I right? Huh? If the, your mama cry or your papa cry or somebody die, you will change your mind. Am I right? Uh, people have died in my family. I refuse to change from the truth I know. So nothing can change me from this truth. Nothing can remove me from this truth I know. I have lost so many friends because of this Jesus. Mm. And I'm making new ones. I'm making new friends. Because I found the truth. When you know the truth, that truth will set you free. We change your life. Mm. And the Spirit of God is with me and is not with you. He will talk to me every minute of the day. Don't do this. Oh. 
don't do this. So he says, told me this morning, don't do this. So I say, ah, how can you allow me to do such thing? I cannot do it now. Mm. It's not say go. So he's with me. He's guiding me, jealously guiding. How can you now change me to a failure? Or change me to a citizen of this world? It's not possible. Because I believe him. What you need to do is to believe God. Once you believe God, you are connected. All things, every attack from Satan is not south and west, cannot defeat you. That your genuineness will give you that free, that way. But if you are not genuine, there is no way Satan will not get you. Mm. Are you ready to follow the way of Jesus? The same way he lie, you not lie the same way. The same suffer. Are you ready to suffer for him without confession? Satan. Are you ready to suffer for Jesus? Are you ready to follow him in good time and bad time? Are you ready to confess that Jesus is Lord? Even when things are going wrong, you still confess Jesus. Even when there is nothing to confess good about Jesus, you are still there for him because you need his life in you. Life in Christ is life. We own God. Because that life will continue. It can never end. But life in life, the one you are living now, can end at any time. Mm. That you are sick, it does not matter. That is why Jesus mentioned about Lazarus and the rich man. That is why you see Job. There is nothing to praise God about. But he still confessed that Jesus is Lord. There is no one like him. Even when the wife is confess, was confessing bad about God, Job refused to join him because he trusts his guide. Can you do the same? Mm. Job value God's life than the life he was living. The wife of Job have life, but life in life. Where is your faith? If you say you believe in God, where is the faith that will help you? You know, each time you believe, your faith will start working. But you say, God, give me faith. I want to have faith. Give me faith. I have faith in God without belief. You don't have faith. If you have faith now, if you, have, if you believe now, your faith will start working. You don't need to help your faith. It's your faith that will help you. During the time of your suffer, your faith will help you. Your hope will help you. All of this blessing is in you. It's a gift of God. Faith is a gift of God. Hope is a gift of God. Love is a gift of God. What do you need just believe? If you believe in Christ, if you believe in Jesus, all those character, hope, faith, love, all of them will start working. But if you don't believe in Christ... There is no way this thing can work for you. Your faith must fail you. Because you continue without belief. God will know that you are not genuine. You will still fail. There is no way you will not fail. All those things you can't just, just say, in the name of Jesus, God give me faith. God give me love. God give me hope. Oh no, it's in you. All of them is in you. Instant you believe... You are connected. The light of faith will start shining. We start walking. The light of hope will start walking. The light of love, all of them will start walking immediately. Where you need hope, that hope in you will give you hope that this sickness will not destroy you. But even if it destroys you, there is another place you are going that 
that is better than this world. That faith will keep you going. Even when everybody says, I don't need you again. They run away from you. That faith, God will be with you, talking to you. But your problem is unbelief. You never believe God. And you expect your faith to work. You expect your hope to work. You expect your love to work. It can't work. He can't walk. There's no way he can walk. Lie, lie. So your decision to follow him matter. If you want to have life, ask another again. Do you have life in Christ or life in life? <laughs> where are you? Ask your neighbor. Where are you? Where are you? Where is your son? Some people love Jesus because of what they will receive from him. Oh, Abba. Eh? Are you one of them? Eh? Some people love Jesus because others love Jesus. <laughs> you know, you go to church because on Sunday everybody going to church. That's ah. Everybody, everybody in this year don't go to church. If I'm staying in the house now, they say that I'm pagan. Let me also look for church I will go. You will come out. Is that this church or that church? or that, Which one will I go now? You now see some people go. You now follow them. Which church are you going? They said they are going to church A. Eh? You follow them, you enter the church. When they are shouting praise the Lord, you do, you shout praise the Lord. When they now close, you now say, hey, everybody is going back home. Me too, I'm going back. Uh, okay, Michael, where did you go? <laughs> we, we went to church. Hey, church, uh, we, the pastor preached very, very well. So you are going to church because others too go to church. Mm. And there is another people that go to church because of their soul. Mm. Mm, that, one. that is the people God is looking for. I don't know who carry you come here. As your neighbor, as your neighbor, who carry you come? <laughs> Is you your friction that carry you come? Eh? Carry you come? Eh? <laughs> I don't worship God because of what I will receive. If I worship, I'm serving God, doing this job because of what I will receive. Uh, I would have made money a long time ago. I'll be charging you anyhow. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> life in Christ. That is the best life. Uh, if you have life in Christ, what I'm telling you, Jesus is sweet too. There is no suffer there. You know, you struggle to worship God because you don't know him. Believe him first, you will see. Worshiping God is very, very easy. God told me this morning when I was in the toilet, now say, if you have me, uh, you are my friend, Jesus' friend. You will have peace. Hmm? You will have quiet time. What if you have Jesus now? What Jesus demand is only quiet time. Huh? Am I right? Huh? There is nothing else, only your time. A little time. You have. <laughs> you have. You have Jesus now. You know, he doesn't want me to tell you everything that uh, we discussed, but I will tell you part of it. Clap for Jesus. <clears throat> He's jealous, who? He's jealous. He's my lover. You know, the world is your lover. 
Am I right? Huh? The world is your lover now. Me, I have secret lover that you cannot see. It's with me. And you don't want me to discuss everything. You know, when you have a lover, you don't discuss th those things outside. Am I right? Uh, he's jealous now. He don't want me to say everything. Love for Jesus. Let me say small. Are you jealous? Uh, join me now. <laughs> uh, join me. He's sweet too. Clap for Jesus. You need a friend. And that friend you need is Jesus and no other friend. I want to talk to you. You that are human being, you need a friend, and the friend you need is Jesus. Through him, you have friends, the good one, not the one that will destroy you. But you, you choose to have friends and ignore Jesus, and you will have bad friends who will destroy you, destroy your marriage, destroy your life. God say, if you have me, Jesus, as your friend, I will love you and now give you good friends. People that will help your life. People that will help your faith. People that will help you to know him the more. And people that will give you business, money, good people. Not bad person. But you, you ignore him and decided to choose friends for yourself. That destroy you, destroy your home, destroy your marriage. Right or wrong? Eh? Eh, so you, have, you don't need any other friend than Jesus. And when you have Jesus, he only demands for your time, your quiet time. Mm. He would like to talk to you. He would like to stay with you. And he will also allow you to talk with your friends, the one he chose for you. Mm. You know you are my friend now. Eh? You don't know. And Jesus is the one that chose you for me. <laughs> eh? Eh? Some of you, I have your number, we call, we talk. I come to your office, we go, we eat together. Some of you here. Yes. I go to people's office. I keep those prophecy, Amoma, by the side. I will come. And now go out. We, go, we, we eat. We talk. Uh, that time I don't prophesy anything. I don't see we discuss. That is, you are my best friend. It's God that chose you for me. I don't know you. Huh? You don't know me. It's from here that I know you. Am I right? Yeah, that is good friend. But there is bad one you choose for yourself that destroy you. Mm. And among you here, there is bad one. Huh? You don't know. Because when you now have God. Satan too will also come. Mm. If you have a farm, there is no way you will plant yam. You will not see grass. Huh? They must come. Whether you tell them to come or you don't tell them to come, they will come on their own. Am I right? The same way the bad one meet us here. So be careful of who you see in the church. Because it may be a bad friend. So when you know Jesus, he will help you to get the new, the good one. When you don't know Jesus, you choose the bad one. The same way people go out and they are corrupt. The same way people come to church and the people in the church corrupt them. I'm telling you. If you have a wife... And you say that your wife is following you to the church. Is a good wife? No. Monitor her. In that church, who is 
her friend. What kind of life the woman that work with her, what kind of life the woman is living, what kind of life that this woman is living? Uh, that everybody come to church does not mean church will, will change you. Church change some. Church destroy some. I'm telling you. Church change some people. At the same time, church destroy some. Don't believe that when you come to the church, everybody now is holy. No. God have his own. Satan too also have his own. The same way God plant, the same way Satan too also plant. So don't leave your wife for church. Monitor your wife very, very well. Monitor your husband very, very well. Monitor your children. Because church too destroy them. When you go home, what, the, what, what are the kind of life the woman is living? When you people are not when you are going to church, you are coming and he started having friends. What are her life now? What kind of life your wife is living? What kind of life? Is he living a good life? Is he changing? Is he stubborn? Is she stubborn or this or that? Check and know. And you now come to that church and look around and know your wife's friend. Don't say church will help you. Lie, lie. Church help people that help themselves. If you want to help your life, church will help you. If you don't want to help your life, you become as grass. Uh, and the God must remove you the day he will come. So church also destroy people. Uh, Satan is no more in the club. Satan is not in the club. I'm telling you. Is in the church. Those people in the club, those people in the hotel, if they have opportunity you have, they will be far, far better than you. If you doubt me and you, you know that the Spirit of God is with you, go to that club and talk to one, two people. You will see some of them crying and regretting why are they there. But here, you preach from Genesis to Revelation. Because you know what you want to do. How about I Huh? He know what you want to <laughs> You'll be preaching, you'll be saying his own. Satan is not in the club, oh. <laughs> he is in the church. Uh, you don't know. Huh? It's not people in the club, people in the everywhere hotel, they are the one fighting me. You are the one fighting me now, over there. Huh? Ah, you are the one fighting me now. You are the one, you are the one rolling me down. Mm. So Satan is in the church. He's not outside there. He uses us when we are available. Are you available for Jesus or available for Satan? Talk through. Tell your neighbor which one. And what is your response? Uh, uh, yeah, this one is Jesus. So life in Christ. So monitor the person. Mm. and they help and see if you can recover the person back. Uh, I, I have given you the job. I'm no more working that kind of job. Calling this person and say, leave these people. This one you destroy. I can't do that again. I don't have that strength again. So monitor your family mm. very, very well. And the one that is destroyed already, I know. Uh, I, want you, I want them to destroy you first. So when you come to me, you will use your mouth to say that they have destroyed me. If I have help, I will give you. If I don't have, have help, you continue like that. But just know that church destroy people and church also change people. Because Satan did not want you to hear God's word. Eh? You don't know. 
uh, I'm planting and they do they are doing they are doing their own. Oh. There is some people Satan have enter. And any day you start following that kind of person, your life will never remain the same. Be you man, be you woman, he must destroy you. You look around the person and see how many people she or he have destroyed. Mm. Mm. Anybody thing close to her or him destroy. Just look around the person. And you too, you will not look around the person. You will not join. You will be destroyed. Uh, Satan has given her or him the power to destroy people's family, people's home, people's happiness. Mm -hmm. And he also gives them tools. They will have money they will use to lure you. They can buy you a phone because you have long truth. They will buy you those things you like. Uh, you like party, they will not throw party. You will not go there and begin to do like this. Whatever you like, they will give you. But they must make sure they destroy you. He may not know, she may not know. The demon inside know what he is doing. He will destroy you. So be careful. Don't say that your wife is coming to church. To go to church. No, it can be destroyed. So monitor the people who is my wife friend in this church. The woman is you good woman or bad woman? Is he bad husband or who is this person? Very very important. Very very important. Uh, because word is a seed. Once the word drop in you, it will start growing. Mm. Once there is soil, it will grow. Maybe the word drop and it is what you want, but you don't have way to do it. You don't know how to do it. The person will give you idea how to do it. It will destroy you. It will destroy you. Please don't go upon deliverance. I'm telling you, don't hope only on deliverance. Monitor your family. <coughs> Are you hearing me? Eh? Monitor your family. Don't hope on deliverance. Deliverance can do nothing unless you believe, unless you need it, unless you are tired. When deliverance works, is when you are tired of that situation. That is when God will come out. Are you tired? You say yes, I say come. But if you are not tired, God will not bother to free you or to deliver you. Mm. Monitor your family. <laughs> Monitor your family. Because I will not call your wife again or call your, your husband again. Stop this thing. What do you see? Uh, you see you are doing. Uh, stop following this person. Don't follow this way. I cannot say that. But I will be watching you. But I know you must be destroyed. Mm. They will destroy you. So Satan also in the church. Stand up. Mm-hmm.